Um, I'm going to take this image and do something with it to make it desaturated so it has no color. It'd be black and white. But then I really just want to reveal the orange of this pumpkin. And so it'll be all black and white except for this pumpkin. And so we're going to first desaturate it, but then we're going to um, add something called a mask so that we can see just the pumpkin underneath. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to need this original picture with the color in it because I still need that pumpkin color. I'm going to go ahead and right click on this and duplicate the layer. And then I have two layers and the one on top that does not have the lock is the one I'm going to go to image adjustments and look for desaturate and desaturate will take all the color out and it will leave it black and white photo. Once I have that black and white photo, I want to reveal, I want to expose the orange of the pumpkin from under, from the picture underneath the layer. So I'm going to right click on this and I lied. I'm not going to right click on it. So click off of that. And I want to come down here to this button at the bottom that says add layer mask. So it's right next to FX button. The next one looks like a little bit of a camera it has like a square with a hole in it. Add layer mask. And the way this works is with your brush. So I'm going to go ahead and make the brush size bigger. And what it does is it deletes if I have this color being black, it, it deletes something that's underneath it. If I have this color being my brush color being white, it adds it back in. So I'm interested in changing this to black. And I want to delete or want to remove the color where this pumpkin is. So I'm taking away part, and you can see it happening like a little mini version in here. It's taking away the black and white photo and it's exposing, it's like making a hole through the first image so I can see the second image underneath it and it's gonna come up with the, the color. And I'm gonna continue doing this. I'm being a little bit sloppy about it because now I need a little bit of a smaller brush. So I'm going to come up here and make this a bit smaller. Even smaller still. Kind of really get this pumpkin. And I can see with her fingers and all the detail that's there, have some editing to do. And if I zoom in, so I just did a control plus to zoom in, I might want to get these edges a little bit better. I didn't do real well right here. So in order to like I have color there. So if I want to remove the color, I'm going to switch this back to white. And I'm going to go over this area here. Now I don't see that color anymore. So if I want to take away, I want to be black. If I want to add, I want it to be white. And it's all about switching the color of the brush. So now I need to zoom in over here to the hand, detail this up a little bit better. But then like her thumb has color, so I need to switch to white. And while I'm zoomed in, have a little bit better of a brush. I'm going to clean this up here. Same with her finger. It looks pretty good. So just check out the rest of the pumpkin. If I zoom out, I now have a black and white picture, but I have something standing out. I have this pumpkin standing out. I've seen a lot of really cool black and white pictures with maybe a umbrella standing out in a red color or, you know, something just standing out that calls attention to the picture. And that is using a layer mask to remove color or add color to an object and you have to switch between the white and the black.